Hey there, and welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to add almost any camera to Home Assistant. But that's not all, I'll also guide you step by step on how to add that camera feed to a custom dashboard, so you can monitor it easily. Let's dive right in. Today, I'm adding a sun off camera to my home assistant setup, but here's the cool part, this method works for any camera that supports RTSP. I'll show you exactly how I do it, step by step. And if you're interested in the sun off camera I'm using, I've left a link in the description so you can check it out. Now, here's the thing, the EWI Link add-on doesn't currently support the camera stream. But that didn't stop me. I found a way to include it in my home assistant setup using the RTSP protocol. It's super easy, and I'll show you how. Oh, and if you're not familiar with RTSP, it stands for Real-Time Streaming Protocol, and it's a great way to get live video feeds into your smart home. I'll start by enabling the RTSP feature on the camera. In my case, I'll do this using the EWI Link app. If you're using a different camera, just look for the RTSP settings in your app, it's usually easy to find. For my setup, I'll open the EWI Link app and find my camera. Once I tap on it, I'll head to the settings by tapping the three dots in the top right corner. From there, I'll scroll down until I see more settings and tap on it. Next, I'll tap on RTSP. By default, this feature is disabled, so I'll enable it. On the RTSP settings page, there's an option to create RTSP link. When I tap on that, it generates a link for the camera feed, which includes the username and password. If I need to, I can change those credentials on the previous page. Finally, I'll tap the copy button to copy the RTSP link. And that's it. The camera is now ready to be added to Home Assistant. Let's move on to that step next. Now that I've got the RTSP link, I'll head over to my Home Assistant homepage to add the camera. First, I'll click on Settings and then go to Devices and Services. On the Integrations page, I'll click the Add Integration button. Next, I'll search for Generic Camera and select it. When the Camera Setup pop-up appears, I'll paste the RTSP link into the Stream Source URL field. I'll also set the protocol to HTTP and then hit the Submit button. And just like that, the camera is successfully added to Home Assistant. I'll go ahead and click Finish. Here's the newly added camera. To make it easier to identify, I'll give it a more intuitive name. I'll open the camera settings, click Rename, update the name, and click OK. And there you have it, the camera is now fully integrated into Home Assistant. Next, I'll show you how to add it to a dashboard so it's even easier to access. To add the camera to my dashboard, I'll start by clicking the Edit button, the pencil icon in the top right corner. Next, I'll click the Edit button in the bottom left corner. This opens the Dashboard Elements pop-up, and I'll scroll down to add a new element. For this, I'll choose to add a new image element. I'll give it a title so it's easy to identify. Then scroll down to the Camera Entity field and select the camera I just added. I'll also set the camera view to live so I can see the real-time feed. Now, I don't want the camera feed to dominate the dashboard, so I'll adjust its position and size by tweaking the settings in the style box. I'll also add some extra settings to give it a unique look, don't worry, I'll leave all these settings in the description for you. Once everything looks good, I'll hit save. And there it is. The camera feed is now part of my dashboard. If I click on it, it opens a larger pop-up for a better view. It's that simple. I hope this guide was helpful and that you're feeling confident about setting up your own cameras. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up to support the channel and consider subscribing for more smart home tips and tutorials. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.